debut album. Don't be daft. He's a fucking Jerry. Have you noticed he hasn't said a word? You don't speak English. If you <laughs> he said he's gonna use it as a coaster. So that's... <laughs> Four? Four. Where, where can you just point out where they are? Usual. And then just a little lower. No, I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Um, I'll talk to you next week. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, no, no. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No, you... OK, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Who was that? Um, wrong number. Which one do you think you're better at? Acting or singing or, or maybe, I mean, dancing even? Dancing. Hi, I'm here with your wife and she's giving birth, I think. I am giving birth. So you birth. want to be here. Where are we? Pack my green card again, please. Chelsea boot. Why are you shaking your head? I hate you all so much. What? Um, a Chelsea boot. A Chelsea boot! Heart rate's rising! Heart rate's the highest it's ever been! Heart rate's gonna hit 80! 80, 81! Um, Would you say that's the biggest love of your life, a Chelsea boot? Probably. Heart rate's at 85! <laughs> 92! 100! 100! <laughs> you can take that one home with you, Phil. What's the worst response you've gotten from your new haircut? About that song. Oh, so the the person who who it's about uh, found out. I found out how they found out that it was on there, and they their dad watches the Today Show, which is like day. GMTV. Is, or something. Yeah, it's like the morning GMTV, show. GMTV. The one I did morning, in, in New York, <laughs> uh, and he like left her a voicemail saying, um, "I think he just sang a song about you on the on the TV on the telly," and that's yeah. And that's how she found out. Else. It's pretty mad to find out that someone's written a song about you on the Today Show. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Wouldn't you think that was mad if you put the telly on and someone's like, Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you turned the radio on and we'd written a song about you, you'd be like, you wouldn't find that weird. Maybe, yeah. Maybe when you put it like that. Do you know what I mean? I think it'd be weird. It's nice, though. It's nice! Unless you're, like, slagging him off in the song. Which I am not. Which you are not. She's yeah. from Carolina. She's such a good girl. <laughs> Why?
look good. I need you to be better. Yeah. To you, but not to us. Help me, Jeffrey. No, Jeffrey. I think, I think, Jeffrey. I don't know. <laughs> Should we get Jeffrey? What is your middle name? Edward. If you. We got to get away! We got to get away! We got to, we got to away! Excuse me, excuse me, there in the middle of the back. Where the hell do you think you're going? So here we go, the one about Taylor Swift. Um, um, oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is Two Girls on Radio 1. I was somewhere, I went somewhere else then. I went somewhere. On that one. Any, any thoughts now? What a feeling. What a Just feeling. a smooth jam. Mm -hmm. What makes you beautiful? Yes, that's Harry's response. <laughs> oh, Niall, what, what makes you beautiful? <laughs> uh, yeah, I go with the boys Girl Almighty, so it was really fun. Girl Almighty. <laughs> Why? Why have you done this? She says, can I hold you responsible when I fail because I'm listening to your album instead of revising? What I'd say is, passing the blame is never, you know, it's not really a solution. What I'd say is, might be time to start taking responsibility for your actions. And if wow. you're not revising, it's not on me, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a girl. <laughs> Standing in front of a boy. <laughs> asking him to love her. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> that really got me. I don't know what doing that. This is the rooms up on the top of the ship. This is all we got to deal with, man. Jack, Rose. I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. 